Now we all know sewing is a wonderful hobby where it brings so much to our lives and it's not only fancy clothes that sewing brings us but you'd be surprised how many other things that's that you get good at when you learn how to sew. I think you might just be surprised by some of them. I see this as a common thread that comes up inside Vintage Sewing School a lot. Vintage Sewing School is my online uh, sewing school where I help members how to really sew and create the clothes that they dream of. So not just copy patterns, but really learn the skills. And so when you learn all these skills of sewing your own clothes, it also brings up many other things into your life and you get really good at it. And I see, as I said, members talk about this quite often and I thought, we need to talk about this here because sometimes, you know, you might be convincing one of your friends that might just be on the edge of wanting to learn how to sew. And if you've got a list of all these other wonderful things that it does as well, maybe it will just uh, push them over the edge. Or I always find it interesting for just this like sewing chit chat, right? Like this is the gossip table right here. And I definitely want to hear your other, um, you know, things that you think that you've gotten good at at the end, uh, but let me go through. I found six that I think that we all get good at. The first one is ironing clothes. I mean, this one's a given, right? <laughs> I can't tell you how many, uh, you know, members I see come into Vintage Sewing School that literally sort of say something like, I've almost never used an iron before. <laughs> I had to go find it, learn how to use it. And now I'm ironing all my clothes because I realized they were all wrinkly and I can do it very easily. And it's, you know, I'm good at it now. I think it's a skill that we learn when we're sewing our own clothes is to actually get the iron and, you know, it's worthwhile ironing our clothes, etc., to make all of the difference. Um, I think that's definitely top of the list of the other skills that you get good at because, you know, you just get good at ironing or pressing, right? And your garments look so much better. It's like 10 times better. You don't even have to get better at sewing. You just get better at pressing and your garments will look better. Like your me made garments, 10 times better. The ratio is not, not, the, not like a one for one. I think you get good at picking fiber and fabric content or fiber content and fabrics. So because I mean, in our modern day lives, it, it always quite surprises me actually how people have absolutely zero idea about the uh, fabrics, the clothing that they wear literally on their skin every single day and have no idea what it's made from or what, what, like what anything is of fiber or fabrics. But you, when you learn how to sew your own clothes, you know, I know, you know, one of the first hurdles is like picking fabric and it can be so hard in drape and stiffness and body and this one's slippery and then there's polyester and there's cotton and there's wool and then there's blends and then Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> so learning about fabrics, I think fiber content comes into it. I always play the fabric guessing game and I've made videos here on how to tell the difference between natural and synthetic um, you know, by giving it the crush test is definitely something that you get really good at when you learn how to sew because you're just touching the fabrics all the time and you're reading labels and you're looking at things with a new different light. And of course the different fabric types before you probably had no idea it was all just like that cotton-like fabric, right? But now you know that cotton-like fabric is actually a rayon or a viscose or is that's a quilting cotton and this one is a cotton foil, etc. So you get really good at fabrics and fibers and I think that's really good to know more about what we literally put on our bodies every single day. The next one is mindfulness. Now, if you're a sewer, you already know this one. I think sewing, it's one of those activities, right? At least it is for me, it's probably for you too, that you just... You know, you go into your little sewing space and you know what? The whole rest of the world just seems to drift away. And how often is it that you get completely consumed and lost in what you're doing and you look up and you're like, wow, it's after midnight. <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> right? Yeah, mindfulness. It is you know, if you enjoy it, any activity, you know, you can do this, whether it's cooking or gardening, all the same sort of things. And sewing is definitely one because you're just sitting there creating with your hands and just everything you have to put your focus into it. So everything else that you might have been stressing or worrying about goes away for a while and the world just seems a little bit more calm, right? Yeah. I think that sewing makes us better at math. Yes. Well, at least when we start 
pattern uh, adjusting and making patterns and anything to do with um, altering the patterns at all. Um, is when we start to remember all of those math lessons that we had at school and it's coming back to us. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't have to be good at maths to do pattern making. Mm -mm. That's what your telephone or your calculator is for. Now, I actually take the opportunity to use this as a learning exercise to actually remember how to, you know, add, subtract, times tables. These are easy, just, you know, calculations, but I actually take the opportunity to do it, um, you know, with my brain just to actually exercise it and use it because otherwise we don't do it at all. But of course your calculator does it for you. It's more about the math as in even the problem solving ability behind the math is what you really, really learn. So this needs to equal this, but it's this plus this plus this plus this, and then it should equal this seam over here, right? You don't actually have to know all those numbers and add it up, but you have to problem solve to know which and which which to put in the right numbers into your calculator. And I think it really burns those like brain juices in that activity in getting our math skills back up because it is all those patterns are mathematically lined up and they were measuring things where you like so much and you might be just like me. I would actually really love to know that in the comments down below. Do you take that opportunity to do the math by, you know, by, by hand without the calculator like I do? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, you get really good at precision scissor cutting, right? I know when I always used to, um, I still actually find it amusing. Amusing in a way as I remember being there, right? When I see, um, you know, new sewers come up and they pick up the shears. And for some reason, these are just like the heavier, they're a bit different, fabric's different than anything we've cut before. Cause you think it's scissors, right? Like everyone knows how to use scissors, but then you go to cut fabric and you're like, it's not working, right? Maybe you've experienced that. <laughs> and it's just about getting used to, you know, shears in particular, dressmaking shears and fabric and it's different, but oh boy, don't you very quickly learn those like high precision skills where you're slicing off tiny little slithers here and there and around corners and you get really, really good at using scissors. I also think we get really good at spotting quality clothes, particularly at, you know, my favorite, the thrift store because when you make clothes yourself, right, you start to see seams on the inside, see different hem constructions, see how long the stitches are, if they're solid, you see the interfacing, you see the buttons, you see the everything on the inside, right, in a whole new way, because you've constructed it yourself, you know what's starting to constitute good quality and bad quality, and you can start to pick it very quickly, right? Uh, you know, I know you've been there already when you think, no, that is really poorly made. And you see the stitching and it's like this, but you never noticed before, or you see something and you're like, oh, look at this. You know, it just gives you all those little spidey senses because it's just made so well, right? Yeah, you can start picking those quality clothes because when you make it yourself, you start to understand that really, really well. And the other thing I think it makes us super good at that it brings to our lives is resourcefulness. <laughs> because, you know, if you don't have pattern weights to hold down your paper, you know what? You've got tins of beans that will do the job just well. You didn't get quite enough fabric that that uh, pattern envelope told you to. You know what? We get creative. We can make that pattern layout work. We know what to do, right? In the resourcefulness, don't have the right colored thread, don't have this, the size buttons. You can't create like really creative and resourceful in using what you've got to make it work. Particularly with refashioning is really good at that. But I think crafting anything um, by nature is, it gives those skills and it, I think it also reinforces it for life, right? And what we do in our daily life is resourcefulness. You just do the best with what you've got and you make it work somehow. And I really, really like that. It's something that I like to do in my daily personal life too. And I do have a video on uh, saving that fabric layout. If you are interested in that one, I'll link it down below along with a bunch of other videos that I think will be really useful too in helping you through um, all the sewing journey um, that you've got ahead of you. Because we all just want to make better clothes, right? Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. What do you think that sewing has made you really good at or brought to your life that isn't just fancy clothes? <laughs> Leave those comments down below. Um, remember to read through because we're a sewing community here and it is always really wonderful to read and see those. And if you're looking to go further on your sewing journey and have even more of a community that brings more to your life, all the fancy clothes. That is what I do at Vintage Sewing School where I help my members there to really nut out all the skills really needed to create the clothes that you dream of. So I would love to help you. I'm going to link that down below in the description box. Just click it down and it'll take you straight there. Until next time my sewing friends, happy sewing. Bye.